Hi, welcome. My name is Alan Simpson. This is a short course on creating visitor comments for your site using Firebase. Um, I call them casual because users don't have to log in or anything. They can just type their name, type in whatever text they want, and then click Submit, and it shows up as a comment, and uh, that's it. So, you know, they don't have to be a member. They don't have to um, log in or anything. So, you know, if that's not what you want, obviously this isn't a great way to do it, but if that's what you're looking for, super casual where anybody can just throw in a message real quick, then this will be a good solution for you. It's all HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Firebase, so it's all free. And if you know a little HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, that should be enough for you to get going with it. We'll put in a little simple uh, validation where they can't leave the name blank or they can't leave the comment blank so you don't get blanks in there all the time. All right, so the first step is to go create the database if you haven't already. So you want to go out to firebase.google.com. This is free. It's just a service of Google. You can either sign in or create an account. Uh, once you're there, you want to click the Go to Console. And if you want to use an existing database, you can, but otherwise you want to click Plus for Add Project. I'm going to call this one Comments 2 because I already have one called Comments. If you were following along, you would just type Comments, then Create Project, and then just wait a few seconds as it creates the project. And, you know, you're not making any big commitment here. You can just delete it if you don't like it, so don't worry about that. All right, click Continue when it's ready. And then it'll take you here. Make sure you're in your right uh, project. And then you want to click Database, Get Started. And then it'll ask you what type of database. You want to do Real-Time Database. Click Get Started under that. Start in Test Mode. We're going to have to leave Read and Write to set, set to True because we're not making people log in or anything. So obviously you don't want to put passwords or credit card information or anything in this database. It's not that secure, but people's first names and comments are no big deal. So you can go ahead and click Enable after you set that Start in Test Mode, and it'll create the database, which initially just looks like this. And that's all we need to do in Firebase for starters. Okay, next we'll create the website, and then we'll create the web page with a form that allows people to submit comments. All right, that'll be in lesson two. See you there. Bye-bye now.